and welcome to GT Not Live, where we're still not live, and it's uh, more private couch time with MatPat here, because that's what we can do. So, yeah, you know, and honestly, I would consider that flattering, if I were you guys, that of all the things that I could be doing, right, all the things, we're stuck in quarantine, everything's shut down, but like, you, you get the point, right? Of all the things I could be doing in my downtime away from Oliver and sandwiched in between work and scripts and meetings and stuff is hanging out with you guys because you're important to me and I really value these time, this time on the couch with you. So, you know, there it is, friends. Um, I just want you to know that you're that important that we can't upload as frequently as we'd like to on the channel right now. It's been harder for us to find the time to upload to get both of us on the couch, but we're working to getting closer to getting Stephanie back on here, finding like the help that we need to make sure that things can flow again. But you know, across four channels at this point, four channels, yep, talking about that new channel. I don't know when this is gonna go up. It might be before the new channel launch, which would be tomorrow if it's going up, or uh, or after the new channel launch, which if you haven't gone see the new channel, you should subscribe to it, please. That would be super helpful because uh, it just tells us that that's a channel that you guys are excited about, that you support us in kind of new endeavor, and it helps kind of prove to YouTube and to advertisers and stuff that this is a channel that is doing really good work and working really hard. So uh, any support you can give to whatever that new channel is, can't really say it if it's not out yet, but it's there. It's really awesome. I've, there's already episodes done in the future for it that I think are even better than the launch episodes. So just saying, if you haven't checked it out, please do, please subscribe. It's the best thing that you can do for the channel right now. Uh, so thank you for your support there. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, four channels at this point is a lot. It is a lot. And unlike a lot of other channels who've, you know, grown out and blown up their business and, you know, have oh, tons of workers, you know, like Fine Brothers, for example, have like 100 people. Good Mythical Morning has like 80 people who are, it's crazy. It is crazy how big some of these companies are. We're still like 10 and we want to keep it low, like 10-ish, like yeah. Um, but it's one of those things that we want to keep it low. And I don't know if you've noticed, but it's like, unlike offloading a lot of stuff to other team members that those channels do, it's still like all on me and Steph. Uh, everyone else is obviously doing a lot of work behind the scenes to do a lot of the mechanics, but still like voicing, we're still in all the, we're still writing all the episodes or at least like, you know, doing drafts and huge notes on things. I'm still in a lot of like the edits, you know, with, alongside Dan, our head editor, like, you know, tweaking things to make sure everything like still feels in alignment with what we do and is clear to you guys and all that stuff. So it's a lot of work. Like when we, there's a reason this new channel took the better part of two years to launch is because we just had to, for those two years, basically figure out how can we slot in doing something else in addition to everything else, knowing that a lot of it's going to be shouldered by Steph and I. Um, so it's, it's pretty massive, uh, but we, we've gotten it and I'm so excited about what's going on. And I'm so proud of all the stuff that's been going out lately. Like I feel like we're in a really good place right now, which is awesome. I'm tired as all get out. I could use a break. Sadly, there's just like no breaks out in the world right now uh, where you can just go and clear your head. Like I really want to go to an amusement park so badly. I just, I love summer and I love amusement parks and I miss being able to like go and ride roller coasters right now. Like that's killing me. And so like if I could just find a day and an open amusement park to go to, that would be like all the mental like resetting I would need in my life right now. Uh, but anyway, in absence of all of that, we're getting more selfish Matt Pat on the couch time. <laughs> and uh, cause you guys seem to be liking it. I like doing it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, and I thought we'd give Mario Maker a bit of a break cause we've been milking Mario for, for a long time at this point. Um, and, so I wanted to hop into something else that a lot of you actually requested or suggested that I look into. Uh, so a couple weeks ago, we uploaded the game theory on the Mega Man timeline, which I had never, I played all the original games. I played all the Mega Man X games and I hadn't, and, and Legends, and I had never played uh, like the Zero series and things like that. So that was a really fun episode for me to work on. 
But one of the things that, uh, you know, and I, I didn't expect that video to do as well as it did, but when it did get a lot of views, I was like, hey, that's great that there's still like a retro community out here caring about some of these old titles that haven't seen a whole lot of updates over the years. And that made me feel awesome, which is why I wanted to cover this on GT Live because uh, I love classic Mega Man. I know in the early days it was always about Mario versus Sonic and, you know, who's your favorite mascot or whatever. But I didn't have a Sega Genesis, so I was just like Mario Kid by default, right? So for me, it was more Mario versus Mega Man because they both were on the same system. They both were platformers and they had, you know, somewhat similar mechanics, you know, power-ups and things like that. And so, yeah, for me, it was always Mario and Mega Man games were like the, the competitors. And I loved both. I loved both. Uh, I was definitely more of a Mario guy just because those were the games that we had. Those were the games that we, you know, would afford or that I prioritized. But we had two, three Mega Man games and I would rent the others and, and beat them. Um, so the idea of there being a Mega Man fan game out there that was requested by you guys that was highly suggested checking out and that everyone says is like a full fleshed out game that I've never touched before. That's awesome. I cannot get enough Mega Man content. Uh, a couple years ago, a year ago, we did a Mega Maker, which is the Super Mario Maker equivalent in Mega Man, uh, which is incredible. But, uh, but this apparently is just a fully fleshed out game that's been out for a while. Uh, that I've never experienced. So I wanted to hop into it as part of MatPat's selfish content time uh, to see what Mega Man, I think it's called Rock and Roll, is all about. Uh, I'm assuming it's a play off of Rock, Rock Man, uh, Mega Man's real name, and Roll, which is his sister in the game. Uh, so I'm curious to see Roll's new you know, appearance in this game because she's always been kind of an underappreciated character in the franchise. So let's hop into it. Uh, Mega Man Rock and Roll, it's free, it's available for you to play right now, and it, you know, according to what everyone was saying in the comments to that video, it is a fully fleshed out game, so let's play it together, shall we? This will be nice, it'll be a nice change of pace. There we go, perfect, not for profit fake. I don't know when this came out, I don't know who made it, uh, here you go, there it is, it's created by, okay, in the year, 20XX as all the best art. Ironically, no longer the future. We are there at this point. Mysterious giant construct appeared from the depths of the ocean. It's the Death Star! <laughs> the Death Star appeared from the depths of the ocean. It sent out a swarm of flying machines that abducted eight of the world's most advanced robots, as you do. Man, already you can tell the attention to detail that's been done here. Like, this is such a, like, a high-polished version of a Mega Man cutscene. A few months later, they came back. The kidnapped robots reprogrammed and fighting for their army. So we got an appearance of two new robot masters there. And they were hunting for even more robots to add to their forces. That's uh, Fireman, Flame Man from Mega Man 1, which is really cool. Good old reference there. There's only one robot who can stop them. Or is there? Oh, is Mega Man going to get kidnapped? Oh, that would be amazing if Ki Mega Man gets kidnapped. Mega Man, rock and roll. I love it. It's great. Ready to rock, okay. So do we have Buster? We do have Buster, okay. So this is slightly newer mechanic. Oh yeah. So like I said, this, oh, wow, look at this. I mean, with fan games, right? You never know what you're gonna get. And like, look at the background and stuff. This is unbelievable. Like already the, the parallel scrolling of the background to give you that depth of field. I mean, this is beautiful. These, I mean, these are these are the games that were my like earliest early hey 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 oh interesting okay so so flame man is making the appeal so he's a good guy now because we fixed him in Mega Man one I guess and so he's fighting against the, the evil bots um but yeah like oh, this is uh, if you're talking about ooh, hello Oh, okay, so these are, so all the old Robot Masters from previous games are making cameos. Cool! Oh, that's so awesome. So previous Robot Masters are getting cameos, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, when you, oh shoot. So if you're talking about like nostalgia hits, man, this is it for me. Uh, like this is like early, early childhood for me. I grew up with Mega Man 1. There's uh, Skull Man from 3? I think it was 3 or 4. 
Um, but I grew up with, with Mega Man 1, which I think everyone largely agrees is like the heart of this uh, Blade Man from 9 or 10. Um, which was considered to be, I think, like one of the hardest ones, Mega Man 1. Uh, we had 1 and 5, and 5 is one of the easier ones, 1 is one of the harder ones. And I remember, again, like, when it comes to gaming achievements, trying to beat Mega Man 1 was a huge deal. Oh, Proto Man getting kidnapped! Ah, oh, Proto! I've never been a big fan of him. Rolls like, no! Oh, Mega Man, you fool! Mega Man! And so Roll is left behind. What will I do? What will I do? <laughs> Their little worry hands are so cute. <gasps> what will I do? What will I do? Of course, Dr. Light freaking out as always. <sighs> Dr. Light. Come on, dude. Mega Man! You must defeat Dr. Waiwi! <laughs> what will we do? What will we do? <coughs> Worst voice acting ever. So can I control Roll? No, okay. She's gonna hop into the Mega Man machine, isn't she? She's gonna become the new Mega Man. Great! Wow, this is... This is actually awesome. Like, girl power of the game. I love it. Good. Roll. I've always appreciated Roll. Uh, like I said, she's she's never been a big focal point of the franchise, but she's always just kind of like there in the periphery or in the background. And for if we're going to get to play as her, that's awesome. I'm so excited about this. It's great to flesh out the Mega Man characters, because there's a lot in there outside of Dr. Light, Dr. Wily, and Mega Man. You know, yeah, ba bass and treble, which, you know, have gotten a little bit more fleshed out. But, like, Roll, from being a sister, has always gotten swept under the rug. Which is ironic, because she's kind of like the cleaning robot who has vacuum. <laughs> which, in and of itself, bit troublesome in 2020. Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. Mega Man not woke. Uh-huh. But, look, this is great. I'm actually really stoked to play as her. So what can she do? Okay, so she's got... She's, so she doesn't charge. She's just flat buster. Does she have powers? Oh, we got letter collection. Rock and roll, that's cool. We've got... Okay, so she's got a double jump. Oh, she's got... Oh, that's fun! She's got a little double jump. And a little... Okay, and she, she also slides. So I know in um, Mega Man 6, which is when I think they first did jetpacks, um, when they first did jetpacks, Mega Man couldn't slide when he had the jetpack on, so, so that was... Uh, uh, it's good to know that she can slide. So these things pop. Okay, so they. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's great. Look at this. This is great. I am so impressed. I guess I gotta go down. With, like, already, it feels so fully fleshed out. So these are all the kidnapped robot masters. Oh no, they're getting launched away. This is awesome. I'm so impressed. Immediately. Like, if this was the only level. I would be impressed, but since everyone's like, oh, it's a full game, like, the level of detail? I, I had a debate with uh, Gaijin Goomba, so uh, he hasn't been on the channel for a while, but um, but uh, Mega Man is one of, if not his number one franchise. I don't know if that's changed over the years, there's Proto Man getting kidnapped. Um, but it's one of those things that, oh wait, wait. oh, he went down, interesting. Um, but it's one of those things where he and I had a debate about like, oh, that you needed the original creator of Mega Man to like truly reproduce a, an accurate Mega Man game. I'm like, no, you just need like a decent platform level designer, a couple of cool power-ups, and some, you know, some great music, and boom, you got yourself a Mega Man game. So Mega Man, is, is he getting kidnapped? I mean, yeah, he is. I kinda wanna wait to see what happens. Oh, stalled out. There you go. Um, and so I, I debated with him, I'm like, and it was, this was back in the days of Deadlock, and we almost did Deadlock on this, of like, do you need the original, oh, interesting, do you need the original creator of Mega Man to, like, make it a truly good, like, 2D Mega Man game, or, like, a classic Mega Man feeling game? I'm like, no, clearly you can do it. And it's always boggled my mind that Capcom, with her little wink, it's great, it's always boggled my mind that Capcom doesn't take advantage of what should be fairly easy to produce games, um, you know, like, the, the resources are there, and I understand that you don't want to, like, milk the franchise dry or anything like that, but, you know, it's, it's, it's such a simple formula, they're so fun and easy to pick up and play, and, you know, you can, you can 
turn them out pretty quickly and come up with like creative mechanics and stuff and you know, it, it, I feel like it's just such a missed opportunity and I'm glad that things like this exist and I'm, oh cool, we went underwater, now we're a submarine? Oh, this is so good! I, I lo oh, and there she is! This is, sorry, sorry, this is so, the, the level of thought that's put into the storytelling right now, this is incredible. I, I want to know if this, and they've got the physics down, they've got the water physics, I was talking, the, I, I recorded me playing a, oh, the Rubber Ross thing, uh, the Rubber Ross GT Live that just went up. Um, it was other map hat private time. And uh, I was talking about how I love Mega Man water levels. And I do because the mechanics are so good. Look at this parallel. There she's. This is so great. I love this. This is beautiful. It feels so true to Mega Man. And it's, and it, it's, this is, I, I'm so stoked. I'm so excited to play through what this is. And I don't know if the rest of the game is going to drop off. I don't know if it's going to maintain this level of quality. But this is so purely Mega Man. And it's like, why isn't Capcom, like, hiring? Similar to how Sonic Mania hired, like, I forget who made it, but, like, it was, it started as a fan who just understood Mega Man a lot. Um... You know, and and was like, hey, I can make my own game. And then Sega just picked him up and they're like, here you go. Here's keys to the kingdom. Make a game for us. Why aren't you doing... Look at this. This is great. Uh, what do we got? We got, like, Dragon Man. You know, obvious ice person. Ice, uh, ice woman. Uh, military guy or, like, tank guy. I don't know what you are. Oh, wait, wait, we can... Okay, Dune Woman, Weather Control Robot, Desert Palace, Drake Man, oh, that was close, Geological Survey Robot, Active Volcano, Polar Woman, Sea Ice Preservation Robot, Missile Base, M Missile Man, <laughs> Missile Man, Ghost Woman, ooh, <laughs> she's an event management robot, <laughs> she's over here planning haunted houses, she's planning parties for everyone's stage old castle, that's cool, I kind of want to do that one, Reactor Man, Power Generation Robot, Power station. Beetle lady. A <laughs> beetle lady. <laughs> oh, reforestation robot forest. And then obviously wave guy. Uh, tide man. Deep sea recovery. Oh, cool. I, I gotta admit, I'm really curious about Ghost Woman and her event management job. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I love it. Ghost Woman. She's not appearing. Ah, oh, gotcha. Oh, she's funny. She's a little comedian. She just appears. Oh, this is like Shade Man stage. This is, this is great. Um, so good. Oh, this makes me really, really happy. Uh, okay, so what do you got? Okay, you're throwing axes. It's fine. Um, look at that. This is beautiful. And this is like so much original stuff. Like I'm trying to like recognize what uh, asset packs or like what games this is riffing on. But so much of this is original or at least it's like modified so much that it feels like original assets to the game. Um, enemy designs and stuff. So, clearly that's a secret path down there. Like, you can see that it's open underneath that waterfall. I, I don't think Mega Man can jump it, though. Do I need to play it as roll? What do you think? Can I make that jump? <gasps> yeah, I, I guess I need to play it as roll. Right? So we can switch between the characters. Can we switch? can't switch okay oh that's nice it, so we auto automatically have the like equalizer which is that little thing in the corner so that spreads out your weapon ammo which is always one of those things they have to buy in Mega Man games and it's like why it's it's such a useful skill um it, buying it is so dumb <laughs> so so I'm glad that they've done some like ease of life uh, mechanics here some quality of life changes that's great uh, so this is so clearly this is one of those things that we'll have to come back for later. I'm assuming there is like a letter or something down there hidden, and if you collect rock and roll, you unlock like beat or something. Uh, slide under this. Whoa, hey, that didn't work. That did not work at all. And I've lost controller functionality. No, come back to me, controller. Oh, the, this I need a better connection for this one. We can't afford to be dropping the controller in the middle of gameplay here. Ah. Uh, Great. I love it. Um, and this is the thing, right? Like, this is why I love doing fan games on GT Live, because there's so much good work 
Can I just jump through the chain? I feel like the chain might be something I can jump through. Let's try it. Yeah, okay, there we go. Because I'm like, that's a really tight series of slides that you have to make. No need to try harder than that. Boop. Perfect. Uh, oh yeah, there's the exit. So... I can't get up there. So that's where the under the waterfall thing would have led to. Uh, this is so great. Uh, this feels a lot like Shade Man from 4 or Nightman from 6. Got our little pop-up spikes, little spiders. Okay, jump to jump, that's bad. Um, this is awesome. So, yeah, to me, Mega Man is one of those franchises that I, I, I just like can't get enough of. Because it's like my perfect game. It's like five hours of... Okay, follow the block. It's, it's like five hours of gameplay. So, roughly, like, in, in general, but, ooh, okay, ooh, don't, don't fall on the side. Um, this is a good warm-up to the Yoku blocks, that's great. Okay, I'm catching that one way too late. Um, but yeah, to, to me, like, again, it has everything that I like about... <laughs> stupid. Focus, sorry, I gotta, I gotta focus on the timing here for a second so I don't make stupid mistakes like that. Uh, but it's one of, because there's a lot of kill spikes. Uh, but it's one of those things that, to me, you know, you don't, I don't have a whole lot of time to play games with everything that's going on. Um, you know, when you're an adult, your gaming just automatically has to shift. And while I really enjoy, you know, big games, I wish I could get back into RPGs. I love RPGs. But, you know, I just don't have a lot of time for, you know, 100-hour quests and things like that. Even with a lot of the open-world games... It's, okay, so down, up, even with a lot of the open, okay, and then one transitions, okay. One, two, then five, then three, then there, then switch, good. Um, with a lot of the open world games, I have to, like, streamline the gameplay process, like Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima just came out, uh, and that's been a lot of, a lot of, oh, nope, there's the controller, and that's been a lot of fun to play, but even that, it's like, there's so many side quests and things that you want to do, but you just don't have time to like fully flesh out. So it's like get get through as much of it as possible, and then hopefully have time to revisit the, the good games later. Um, so yeah, okay, let's see. I want that one off, but there are those fast draw spikes there. So let's see. Oh, God, come on, controller. I really need a better controller connection if I'm doing this. Okay, there, 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 there. Good. Um, Ooh, hello. Mini boss? Ooh, hello. Ooh, hi. Mini boss? This is a cool mini boss. Is it defeat your... bats? Because he reflects... Oh, I get it. It's the uh, chain. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, and he lowers. Oh, that's cool. Cool detail. Oh, this is great. See, this is amazing. And the fact that, like, this has gone relatively... Like, I, the fact that I didn't know about this is such a shame because this is so cool okay so i don't want to lower him too far because then i'll lose the like he'll block Ooh, hey. okay let's just, let's just let's just power through friends okay let's just power through power through just go 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 okay. great ah fun but right like the fan game community is so robust and and like obviously love and understand these games to a level that a lot of with to a level that a lot of times the the teams themselves don't get, which I, I get, like I don't get, man. I how do you not? Is it just like the corporate mentality that throws things off, or what? Because there's still okay. Look, I was just looked ahead of this. Oh, there's the letter. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? So we have to drop down to that guy, down, down, but then it blocks with a spike. Down, down, blocks with a spike. So you have to jump as it's about to disappear, and then jump there, so that way it, you're disappearing, but the spike's disappearing with it. Okay, so it's there, there, down. Okay, so one, two, down. So it's kind of a stepwise down. Two, down, over, and then jump. Yes, there you go! I will take that all day. Thank you. Um, but that's a bit like, there's so many people who love and understand these games, and it's such a shame that 
you know, a lot of times. Ooh, okay. okay, there we go. Um, a lot of times that they just kind of like collected dust or ooh, hello, 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 hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ah! Stop teasing me, teasing me with that E tank. I wanted that E tank so badly. <laughs> Jerks. Uh, poor form. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know. It, and that's why on, on the live stream here, I, a lot of people don't play fan games, I guess, online. You have, uh, especially of franchises like this, you know, and you're not getting the spotlight that, that they really deserve. Um, so if we can kind of spotlight these games, it's great. Because it's a free game for you. It's promotion for people who are doing really awesome work. Okay, so she just, ooh, hello. Ooh, ooh, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, oh hi. Okay, okay, hi. Okay, hi. Whoa, hey, hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so you're there. Okay. Get, get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, ooh. ooh, wow. That's some massive contact damage. <laughs> hello. Hello. Okay. 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 Hi. Hi. You are everywhere right now. Okay, so you. Okay, nope. Is there a way to avoid getting. Ooh. Is there a way to avoid getting locked into this? Ooh, hi. Give me a Okay, you're behind me. Go, go. Nope. Nope. Oh, so close. Okay, bad. I, I, I'm determined to not get sucked into this attack at some point. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we learned a little bit about Ghost Woman. I feel feel slightly more aware of her moveset. Let's not get hit by literally every move that she throws our way. That would be great. Uh, <laughs> that would be... Okay, there she is. Ooh. Okay, that was poor. So that whole not get hit by every move that she makes has not panned out. Okay, still not panning out. Oh, damn it. Ooh, contact damage. Ooh, just bodied me. Okay, there she is. Okay, great. I'll take that. So she tends to follow that up with this pretty quickly. God, every time. Shoot. Ooh, this is rough. This is worse than the first time I had beginners left the first time. Oh, my God. Terrible. Oh, this is, this, this is, okay, okay. Ghost Woman is wrecking me right now. Let's let's try this again, shall we? Let's try this again once my controller decides that it wants to work for me. Please work. Please work. Oh, come on. There we go. Might need to get a stronger connection here. Such a such a noob gaming channel, even though we've been doing it forever. Okay, here she is. One, two, nope. The timing is tighter than I expect. Okay, there she is. Oh, God. Shoot. So, she can go upwards of five times on that. That's good to know. Okay. Oh, Leave, me Leave me alone. Okay. Okay, she's behind me. Nope. Nope. Every time. Every time. I hope that's the power that we get. Okay. All right. Let's calm. Okay. Let's calm down here, ghost woman. Let's calm down. Okay. Woo, spooky ghost! You and your, you're like the most aggressive event planner of all time. Nope. Can I beat her without actually avoiding her attacks? That would be... Okay, let's just hop through those guys. Great. You're behind me. Yep. Okay, yes! Yes! Okay. Once. We did it once. We got this. We got this. Nope! Does it two rounds. Jump, 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 jump. Great. This is it. This is our time. This is our time, boys. There it is. Alright. Whoo! The only event you're planning today, Ghost Woman, is your own demise. Great. Feel good about that. I'm excited to see what her power is. Cool, and so we'll have to revisit that level, uh to pick up whatever. So I wonder, what is it just an alternate path through the level? Or is there a secret down there? You got a soul trap. Awesome. Look at this, is so good. It is unbelievable to me that this is a fan game. Like, look at this. Look at this. It even shows you how to use the power. Like, not just let me shoot it on screen like all the other Mega Mans do, but like actually let me show you how like alternate functionality with it. Um, so, I, okay, so you can switch between them, but it has to be on this screen. Uh, real quick, I'm just gonna see what that alternate route was. 
so because she's got her, I just want to clean up the level real quick. Because why not? Oh, playing as Roll is really fun. Uh, I'm just gonna speed through here. But she's like the fact. Hello. The fact that uh, she can just like jump, like her maneuverability is really fun. Weird, these are uh, from Skullman. Skull, oh wait, Skullman was ad abducted at the beginning. Weird. So are we gonna fight Skullman? Yeah! No way! Oh, cool! Hi. Ah, you fool, I, I, ooh, hello, whoa, hey, 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 you're, whoa, whoa, oh, he's different now, he has got more advanced moves than he did back in the day, oh, this is cool, so it's an updated version of him, oh, fun, oh, so you're, so it's still kind of like a, a retro throwback, but like, with updated movesets, oh, this is great, and so I wonder if all the people that we saw get kidnapped, are ones that we're gonna end up having to, to fight against? Is it a secret or is it part of the, like, completion? It must be part of the completion, I'm listening. Yeah, oh, no. Okay, that's, that's fine. Okay, oh, no, oof. Come on, Skull Man. I got you. There we go. Go here, fire it off. Do it. Come on. So close. I will say that, uh, you know, Buster only without any sort of supercharge. Oh, he wakes up! Yeah! Okay, so now he's my friend again? Or did I save him? Or... Not 100% sure, but, uh, now, okay, so now we're done with this level, so we're all good. Uh, so that should be everything in that level, it feels like. Uh, do I want to play as Roll? I kind of do. Uh, cause I just, she's a new character, right? Uh, who's gonna be weak to ghost stuff? Uh, who's gonna be weak to a ghost thing? I'm gonna predict... He's gonna be weak to ice or water. He's oil? What was she? She's Dune Woman. Dune. Uh, sand? Sand and ghost. Hornet and Ghost, Beetle, Beetle and Ghost, Missile and Ghost. I think either Missile or Reactor, I guess. Uh, let's do Reactor, sure, why not. Reactor Man! Oh, cool. Great, he's a little, little spark, he's, he's basically just Spark Plug Man remix. Uh, what do we got? Okay. Awesome. Uh, or I could just avoid you entirely, that sounds great, thanks. Thanks for playing along. Oh no! <laughs> it's a quick man style level. Great. Uh, so nothing like insta kill beams, huh? Uh, okay, so let's drop there. Oh wow, you're throwing me into this real fast. Okay. There we go. Drop between the two. Oh god! <laughs> oh, so good. Uh, I love this mechanic with these little guys who shift to avoid your bullets. It's great. Uh, I could really use a one-up because I'm at zero, and if I have any hope of actually making progress in this level, I need to... <laughs> I need to act... <laughs> it's a level full of insta-kills. Yeah, totally. Having zero lives is really great here. Um... Oh, this is, this is such a nostalgic hit. Look at this! This is such a polished and final game already. Like, we're, we're in the levels now, and they're, they're so good, and they're using mechanics that, like, are riffing on old mechanics from the games, but also are like new and fresh. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Oh, it stops that one in the corner, okay. So, stop this in the corner, up, 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 and then slide under you, yeah, okay, great. Oh, this is so good. Uh, you tank down there. Oh wait, but I have, uh, I have Soul Trap, which might be able to hit it. No! Oh, it would have done it too! Oh, that totally would have worked. That totally would have worked. Ooh. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, hit, hit the large loin orb. Fine. Hit the large loin orb. Get out of here. Get out of here. Nope. They become immune or become invulnerable when the sparks hit them. So, ooh, hello. Oh, get off. Get off there. Great. Haha. <laughs> Look at that. We'll see great. Yes! Yes! See? Man, that is a, that's so smart! I am so blown away by how smart this is. Like, it's, it's 
such a perfect distillation of like, ooh, I love, no, shoot, that was, that was a bad mistake. Great, so, got ourselves some nuclear reactor man, very exciting, jumping right into the insta-death levels, so obviously very inspired by uh, Quick Man and Mega Man 2 here. The, the pioneers of just, here's a bunch of insta-death traps. So, again, like, I can't, I cannot, I cannot get over how polished and gorgeous this game is. And how, like, great from, like, a gameplay standpoint this thing is. Okay, so these buttons shut off, whatever. And so if I go up and up and up, good, okay. Ooh, hello. Short. Um, this one here is, I bet, if we use the soul trap. Because nope. it shows, it's kind of like Metal Blady, where you can direct it any way you want to. There we go. Yes! I will gladly take that any day of the week. Thank you very much, sir and ma'am. Okay. So this guy was... Get rid of anyone who gets close. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, hey. Yeah. Gotta thin out the herd. Thin out the herd. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey. Come on, light bulb man. Ooh, hello. Okay, here comes that. I love that there's so many mini-bosses, too. Like, this is, this is great. Again, like... There's so many cool mechanics in this game that are just so so clearly and thoughtfully done. I'm just I'm just blown away. I, I'm I'm really really blown away. And like I was saying, it's one of those things. If I'm Capcom, I'm either buying this game and it's like boom, got a new game, great. Or if if I'm not buying a new game. At, or I'm, if I'm not just buying the game, I'm like, I'm hiring this person to head whatever my Mega Man initiative is moving forward, because, I mean, oh, hello, 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 uh, okay. Great, I'm gonna stay here, and now, I love these disco balls, I like, I didn't even stop, because I was just moving forward, but this is so goofy, it's so funny. So they just become disco balls of death. I love it. How cool. Oh, okay, okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, here. Here. One up. Wait for it. Here, wait. Okay, great. Um. Okay, ice. Oh, I can't get down there. I wonder if that's another secret thing. I wonder if that's like what I did with uh, Skull Man in the previous level. I wonder if that opens up like one of the other characters that we have to kill off or unlock or whatever. Um, so anyway, right? It, it, it would be just like, it, it would kind of, I mean, not free money, obviously, because you'd be paying the guy to, to do the work or whatever the team is that's putting it together. But like, the fact that they went out of their way and were able to do a game like this on their own, in their own free time, and make it look this polished and good and with whatever small team was available to them, that, like, it shows that you can just, like, that these are the people who need to be run, like, this is the best job interview that you could ever ask for. It, it's one of those things that reminds me a lot of, actually, how we hire people, just keep running, just keep running, just keep, okay, 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 we're just gonna give run, 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 oh, hey, hi, hi, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, okay, um, it reminds me a bit of how we, uh, how we hire people here when, we, like, we don't hire too many people because, like I said, we, we try to keep it kind of, like, small and we don't want, oh, God, and we don't want to get, like, a, a, you know, a hunt, we don't want a big team, right? We want to, we've never really wanted to be a business owner, we don't want to be a media company or anything like that. We've always just wanted to be like, hey, like, we like what we do, we like being YouTubers and we want to keep it kind of, like, small scale and not build out, like, a giant team or the hub and spoke model or you know all these you know, there's just so many like big businesses around you know, youtube channels and even like the guys who are like we're just doing this with our friends it's like no it's, it's a big it's a business at this point it's an investment there's like people behind you whatever um we've never really wanted that but when we have needed to hire people or look for help on the writing side or on the editing side or whatever it's always been people who oh, i should i should switch over see if i can See if he's weak to 
ghost attack. But it's always been people who, like, more often than not, it's people who are, what's this? Oh, hello, hello. Okay, 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 so his thing charges up. Hold up, okay, let's think about this. His thing charges up. His thing, ooh, hello, okay, okay, fine. His, <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's fast. Uh, so his thing charges up and then it's just a very, like, quick blast, so you gotta jump over it. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. He telegraphs it really clearly, which is nice. But it's one of those things that we like. Okay, there. Oh, that's, okay, so it's three really fast in a row. Okay, that jump, okay, nope. Wow, that is brutal. That attack hurts really bad. Okay, there, and then he phases, and then jumps. Okay, and then he phases, okay, here, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, there's the, the, nope, 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 okay, three. So don't double jump on any of those. Uh, there. Jump, 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 okay. Okay, there, at least, great. Um, but it's one of those things that, like, a lot of times, especially on the editing side, if there's people who've, like, done game theory style videos or have done, like, game theory parody videos, more often than not, those are the people that we're looking for because it's like, they get it, you know? Those are the people who understand what we're doing and have taken the time to, like, learn it and... Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, I did not anticipate him just diving straight down. No! Oh, oh, God. Okay, jump, jump. Oh, jeez. All right, this, this is where it gets tense, ladies and gentlemen. This is where... This is where we separate the elite gamers from the noob gamers. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, uh, where do you fall, Matt? Where do you fall? You've been playing these games forever, you were saying. This is it. This is your chance. Show it off. This is it. Oh, God. No! Shoot! Oh, I trapped myself in the corner. I had it. Had it. Poop. He choked. See, I'm a noob gamer. That's it. I couldn't beat him. And beat him with one sliver and like half his health bar left. Jump. Nope, too slow. Okay, great. All right, we're not doing it again. No hit run, except for that first hit. No hit run, except for that first hit. We're fine. Okay. Oh no! My controller freaked out on me. No! You know, you saw that it did something weird. You saw that it kind of freaked out for a second there. So, nope, nope. I'm like, oh, I choked on that one. All right. Darn it, Reactor Man. This is, okay, so if you don't have the boss's weakness, roll, you really feel roll's lack of a charge shot, man, because you're just, you're just slowly chipping away at that life bar, and you are relying on just being good at avoiding whatever is coming your way, jump. No, oh god, come on, oh, oh jeez, oh jeez, okay. Alright, bada bing, bada boom, nope. Just gonna hang out with the, oh, I'm gonna hang out with you here, buddy. Stop getting caught in corners. Also, it'd be great if you would like let me hit you. No, I that's that was terrible. That was terrible. That was terrible. Oh no! So we got the letter there. Ghost is gonna be obviously ghost is gonna be strong against uh dunes. No, that's gonna be water or something. I feel like that would be water. Um, oh, this is water. This might be ice missile? Dune, I am curious about Dune Woman. Uh, I'm gonna go missile. Ghost is clearly gonna be good against missiles because it's gonna throw off their guidance systems. I remember when I would play these games growing up, I would always try to logic my way through the weaknesses, which don't make any sort of sense, you know? Like, uh, like they, they really don't. It, Sure, the, uh, oh, oh, hey, these guys are back. Sure, the, uh, <laughs> the, the classic, like, oh, fire and ice, and, like, those are always, without fail, kind of the ones that you're, you're playing into, um, and those pretty reliably work in the games, but everything else is just like, oh, yeah, if you, if you squint at it, maybe, maybe it'll work, kind of, yeah, of course, napalm is, oh, like, napalm against rock, that's one, that's a classic one from five, and that would make sense, because that's, you know, you're blowing up the rock or whatever. Like, okay, that that works. Um, crystal against gyroscope man, and you're, or like helicopter man or whatever. It's like, oh yeah, that makes total sense, because the crystals are hard and they're hitting his blades, and so the blades are, are being broken by crystal man's crystal things. Like, what? No, of course not. It's just, they had a, they had a lot of guys, all classic crushers, great. Uh, they had a lot of cool powers, that, you know, they, they all wanted to put together in the same game and they made no sense to have weaknesses against each other but they had to put weaknesses somewhere, so there you go. Uh, and they learned from their earlier days of making everything weak to metal, so... Ooh, hello, hello. Okay, that's not bad. 
Uh, okay, can't get that. Must be a power later, I guess. Um, but yeah, I remember, like, I would jump through hoops trying to, like, as I was picking, like, who do I take on next? It was one of those, like, oh, I, I, I'll figure it out reliably, reliably. I'm terrible, terrible at, like, predicting what's going to be weak to what. Um, just, just absolutely awful at it. Ooh, hey, I'll take that one up, thank you. Um, that would be very nice, because we just lost to Reactor Man, and I think if I had gotten one more shot, I then I would have gotten it. It's not my fault that my controller freaked out from one of them. One zero. Great, I love, I'm glad to see these puzzles back, because they're platforming puzzles, because they're platforming puzzles, but they're also just like puzzle puzzles where you just have to know, you know, what's, what's your pathway of getting through it. Be Ooh, hello, hello. Uh, like this, it's like, oh, I gotta think through what my, no! Just kill me. I, I don't want, I'm not doing another level again. Just, just, just take my life. Do it. Do it, small, slow thing. Please, finish me off. Put me out of my misery. Let me get my letter. I want my letter. You always gotta get the letters. Good, I'm, I was worried it would put me back at the beginning, but it was worth it, because it's pretty deep into the level, it seems like. And so I don't want to have to go back. And who knows what you unlock. It might be great. What I've also learned from the Mega Man games is, in general, the, the unlockable power tends to be, like, almost essential, or at least super useful for the final boss, um, or one of the bosses along the way. Beat was really big in Mega Man 5. In Mega Man 7, you, like, literally can't beat the game without the power, because the final Wily boss is one of the hardest bosses of all time. Um, if you've never played Mega Man 7 first... If you've never played Mega Man 7 first off, it's a great game, but secondly, it is the, the last boss, the last phase of the last boss is just brutal. It is it is what you save all of your energy and refills and I am I need to actually pay attention to this jump. Uh, and everything that you you've held on to for the whole game because you're gonna need it for that one moment if you have even a hope of a chance. And if you waste any So that was the controller freaking out. Yep, there. I'm so sorry. That drives me nuts. I really need to get a better cord for this controller. <laughs> I almost went to look for one, but I'm like, ah, I won't need it. It won't be that bad. And then it's like, oh wait, no, it's Mega Man. You need like actually decently. Oh, God, come on. You need actually decently precise controls that stay stable while you're playing the game. That's kind of important for retro platformers. Controls. Not even for retro platformers, that's important for pre- Oh, oh my- mm. I forgot! I forgot that that was what we were here for! I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We're fine. We're fine. I'm not raging out about this. This is great. This is nostalgia. Fun. This is- this is MatPat relaxation. Selfish content time. This is Matt Pat getting kind of frustrated by the crappy controller cord that he has that keeps glitching out on me. That's that's fantastic. Why can't you be like a normal gaming channel, Matt? Every other gaming channel does this stuff. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. Get a cord that actually fits your damn controller so you can play the retro indie games that you want to play. Okay. Stop it. Okay, here we go. This. Now. Good. There. There. Okay, great. There. Now, see, it wasn't hard, it was just remembering that it was there. So now we gotta make, like, a perfect run of this. Oh, I got one life. Okay, so I got one life at least. So, oh, no! Oh, wow! These guys have not been around since Mega Man 1. Oof. These guys are struggle bus incarnate. Um, yeah, they're the worst. I hate these things. Uh, so, it's, they've actually fixed them, which is nice. So in Mega Man 1, the, this, they appeared in Iceman stage, as well as like the final Wily boss, uh, one of the final Wily stages, these platforms, except they, their pathways were randomized, and, oh, and so it was one of those things, wow, I am just getting hit by everything known to mankind. Um, play better, man, play better. Uh, but it was one of those things where their pathways were randomized. So you would actually stay on them for literally ever, like 
forever waiting for the, the actual pathways of the platforms to line up. And they, sometimes like the random number generation just wouldn't do it for you. And I, rem I so distinctly remember just waiting there forever. The other problem was their attack pattern was randomized too. So they would attack at like fairly random intervals. And it was one of those things where... Drop there. Ooh, hello. Um, it was one of those things that like... It was, it just, oh, oh god. Okay. Alright, hold up. Let me focus on this. There you go. Good. Um, wow, that was... <laughs> but it was one of those things that their attack pattern would be randomized to, and there were just times that you just got hit. Plus, you had, like, the, the screen lag it was just brutal the entire time. Uh, so it was rough. Oh, they have a puncher? Is that, a, is that another compressor that's gonna be, like, an insta-kill for me? Jump over there. Okay, will you be, will you be weak to this? Nope, definitely not. You are definitely not weak to that, so that's, that's good to know. Thanks, okay. Nope. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, so... So, yeah. so does the compressor do... Does it do anything? I'm kind of confused. Like, okay. Oh, ow! So this thing doesn't seem like you should... Ooh, hello. This thing doesn't seem like you should keep that. Yum. Yeah, we're good. Ooh, hello. Okay, so... Okay, okay! Hey. Nope. Wait, nope! Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, I had it! I had it! Okay, I got one I got one shot left. Man, contact damage in this game, I've noticed. They've really ramped up how brutal contact damage is. Like, it just rips you to shreds in this game. Which, I mean, is good, because it forces you to actually get good at the mechanics. But, man, like, touching a single thing is just ripping you. Like, it's better to just get hit by whatever the attack is than, than touching, you know, the, the Robot Master or, you know, whatever the enemy is. Okay, this is... Oh, yeah, this is so much better now. It does feel weird to me that that thing, that, like, little compressor there is right there, but it doesn't do anything. It's just kind of like a rebound for him. Great! That was easy! That was, that was actually really not a hard battle at all. He was pretty predictable. Um... Cool! That's two. I'm assuming I'm getting his missiles that I can, like, vaguely control. So those are kind of like our heavy hitter attack. Hard man, explosive, napalm man. Every game's got, like, its little blast attack. The blast missile. And can it blow up rocks or something? Yeah, there it is. I was gonna say, like, does it have the environmental effect? Cool! Okay, so! I think I'm gonna cut it there. Uh, that is... Oh, wait, no, no, I'm not gonna cut it there. Bonus. Bonus power! Got Rush? Coil? Jet? Yeah, Coil. Okay, great. Oh, hi, kitty! <laughs> yep, skip. Skip Incarnate right there. Push the Rush button. Alright, cool. Anything else? No, okay. Cool. So, that's uh, the start of Mega Man Rock and Roll. Gotta say, so excited about this. Thank you all for uh, in encouraging me to check this out in that Mega Man theory that we did on Game Theory. This is great. I love it so much. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a lost Mega Man game, as far as I'm concerned. Again, like, I don't know if the quality dips off at a certain point, but I doubt it's going to at this rate. Like, if it hasn't dipped off in the, like, the first three stages that we've explored, it's not going anywhere. They've got the letter collectibles. The collectibles are hidden in, like, smart locations that aren't too difficult but are also just easter eggy enough like the bosses are creative and interesting they have different attack patterns there's unique enemy designs it's great the levels are long and challenging and they have mini bosses i am so impressed with this game the fact that it's made by a fan is incredible to me i love it this and this is why i love playing fan games because you just stumble across gems like this and it's so awesome so Thank you all for recommending it. Thank you to the creator for making this in the first place. Hopefully this brings you some attention. Hopefully, you know, it, it revitalizes something that I think you made, what, a couple years ago at this point? I'm not sure. Um, but I'm so excited to keep playing it for MatPat Selfish content time. Uh, so let me know if you liked it. Let me know your Mega Man memories down in the comments. And I'm hoping that this is going up on Wednesday. And if it is, please, 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 please do me a favor. 
and check out the new channel when it launches tomorrow. Subscribe, because it's a meaningless gesture for you and your watch history, but it means everything to us over here and to advertisers and to YouTube, and it just shows that it's a channel that's worthwhile. So going over there and subscribing would, tomorrow when it launches, would be the single most useful thing, and it would validate all the hard work that we've been doing for the better part of two years, but especially over the, since uh, 2020 has kicked in is when we've really ramped up a lot of the production stuff, um, which has been hard because of the coronavirus thing. Um, but we've gotten through it and it's been great and we're so proud of what we're doing. There's some amazing episodes on the way. We've got some really cool ones in the works already. Uh, so I hope you like what you see. It's a, it's a labor of love for you guys. It's a labor of love for us because it's just fun. Um, and it gets us out of our kind of like, you know, usual grind at this point and, and thinking about broader things and broadening out the theorist community. So I hope that you like it. I hope that it's something that you're excited about. It's something that we are really excited about. So please, if you can, support it tomorrow. And with that, that's it. I will be back with more of this. I'll be back with Stephanie. Uh, there's a lot going on. So I love you guys so much. I'll see you on another day. And remember, that wasn't live but it was a piece of content to get you through your day. And I hope it brought you some joy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.